Hello everyone. This is the first chapter of level 2. I have already told that this level 2 covers complete syllabus of CBSC board, Gujarat board, UP board and Rajasthan board also. So origin and evolution of life and introduction to classification. Sabse pehla chapter ki life ki shuruat kab hui thi. So the planet earth came into existence between 4 and 5 billion years ago. Life evolved on planet earth about 3.5 billion years ago. Since then approximately 15 million different species of organisms have evolved. But only about 2 million have been identified so far. In this chapter we will learn how life first originates on earth and how such a vast variety of organisms popularly known as biodiversity evolved through variation and natural selection. Natural selection ke word naam se yaad aata hai Darwin ka naam jinho ne sabse pehle hi theory di thi aur unho ne ek book likhi thi Origin of Species sab log jantte hai. So the study of such a wide variety becomes convenient only when organisms are grouped according to similarities and differences among them named and their evolutionary relationships established we will learn about the importance and method of classification of organisms in this lesson too. So after completing this lesson you will be able to jaise ye chapter complete hoga niche ke sare points jo hain wo aapko clear ho chuke honge. Iske sabse last mein jab ye complete hoga uske baad question answers aayenge जिनको आपको सॉल्व करना होगा और अगर आप पूरी पीपीटी ध्यान से वर्ड बाय वर्ड गो थ्रू हो जाएंगे वो सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हो जाएंगे मेरी एक रिक्वेस्ट है आप लोगों से कि इसको ये जो लेवल 2 है ये शुरू करने से पहले ऑलरेडी जहां पे जो YouTube चैनल है लेवल 1 के सारे पीपीटीज पड़े हुए हैं एक बार उसको गो थ्रू हो जाइए फिर लेवल 2 स्टार्ट कीजिए एक लेवल कंप्लीट करने में एक चैप्टर को आपको 3 दिन लगेंगे दो या तीन दिन बहुत इजीली कंफर्टेबल तरीके से आप लोग चैप्टर कंप्लीट करें एक और रिक्वेस्ट है मेरी कोशिश कीजिए मैक्स टू मैक्स जो पीपीटीज है सर्कुलेट करने की अपने फ्रेंड्स सर्कल में सर्कुलेट करें ताकि औरों को भी इससे हेल्प मिले सो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस लेसन यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न डिस्क्राइब वेरियस थ्योरीज ऑफ ओरिजिन ऑफ लाइफ एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज ऑर्गेनिक एवोल्यूशन गिव मॉर्फोलॉजिकल पैलियंटोलॉजिकल एम्ब्रियोलॉजिकल and molecular evidences in favor of organic evolution, state modern theory of evolution, explain the sources of organic variations, gene and chromosomal mutations, recombination, gene flow and genetic drift, explain natural selection with examples, explain the role of isolation in evolution, list the various isolating mechanisms, Explain speciation, define classification, justify the need for classification of organisms, list the basis of classification. Start from here. The earth was formed about 5 billion years ago. At that time, it was extremely hot. Bhoat garam thi. This time pe formation hua earth ka. The existence of life in any form at that height temperature was not possible. So life two questions arise preparing to how did life originate on earth and how did primitive organisms evolved into new form resulting in the evolution of a variety of organisms on earth. This time you see the temperature agar 44 or 45 degree ho jaye, to aap ekdam AC ki taraf bhaagte hain. This time pe temperature 4500 degree Celsius raha hoga. Then how is it possible that life originate? So origin of life means the appearance of simplest primordial life form, long non-living matter. Evolution of life means the gradual formation of complex organisms from simpler ones. Chemosynthetic theory of origin of life. Several theories were put forth to explain origin of life. The widely accepted theory is the chemosynthetic theory of origin of life proposed by A.I. Operin. 
Other theories such as the theory of spontaneous generation are of historical importance only. Then chemosynthetic theory, life might have originate. ऐसा अंदाजा लगाया जाता है कि इट हैज बीन ऑरिजिनेट ऑन अर्थ थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस इन द डिस्टेंट पास्ट एंड इट ऑल हैपन इन वॉटर यानी लाइफ का जो ओरिजिन है वो पानी में हुआ होगा ये भी अंदाजा लगाते हैं जो साइंटिस्ट हैं द अर्थ ऑरिजिनेट अबाउट फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स है गो इट वॉज इनिशियली मेड अप ऑफ हॉट गैसेस एंड वेपर्स ऑफ वेरियर वेरियस केमिकल्स Gradually, it cooled down, and a solid crust was formed. The early atmosphere contained ammonia, water vapor, hydrogen, methane. At that time, there was no free oxygen. उस time पर oxygen free state में नहीं था. This salt of atmosphere with methane, ammonia, and hydrogen is still found on Jupiter and Saturn. दो planet ऐसे हैं जहाँ पर ये condition अभी भी मौजूद है. जहां पर मीथेन अमोनिया एंड हाइड्रोजन है एटमोस्फेयर में हेवी रेन्स फेल ऑन हॉट सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ अंदाजा लगाते हैं बहुत तेज पानी नीचे गिरता होगा अर्थ की हॉट सरफेस पर और वेपर की फॉर्म में पानी उड़ के दोबारा से एटमोस्फेयर में मिक्स हो जाता होगा एंड ओवर अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ द वॉटर बॉडीज अपियर दैट स्टिल कंटेन हॉट वॉटर कुछ टाइम के बाद पानी रुकना शुरू हुआ होगा तो वहां पे जो वाटर बॉडीज बनी वहां भी गर्म पानी ही था सो मीथेन एंड अमोनिया फ्रॉम द एटमोस्फियर डिजोल्व इन द वॉटर ऑफ द सीज इन दिस वॉटर केमिकल रिएक्शंस अकर्ड एंड गेव राइज टू एमिनो एसिड्स नाइट्रोजनस बेस शुगर्स एंड फैटी एसिड्स एटसेट्रा विच फर्दर रिएक्टेड एंड कंबाइंड टू गिव लार्ज मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ लाइफ सच एज प्रोटीन्स एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स This is the structure, sun. अंदाजा दिमाग में सोच सकते हैं कि किस तरह से लाइफ का ओरिजिन रहा होगा यूवी रेज नीचे आती होंगी नीचे की तरफ शुगर्स है एमिनो एसिड्स है प्यूरिन है प्रिमिडीन है न्यूक्लिय न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स प्रोटीन फैट पॉलिसेकेराइड्स ऑल वर प्रजेंट एट दैट टाइम सो दिस इज प्रोबेबल स्टेजेस इन द ओरिजिन ऑफ लाइफ ये केवल गैस का हम लोग कर सकते हैं ये स्टेजेस एक के बाद एक आती रही होंगी फर्स्ट स्टेज द सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी यूवी रेस और इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज लाइटनिंग और हीट और अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज कॉज रिएक्शन दैट प्रोड्यूस कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इंक्लूडिंग एमिनो एसिड्स फ्रॉम अ मिक्सचर ऑफ अमोनिया मीथेन वॉटर एंड हाइड्रोजन द एमिनो एसिड्स आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स विच आर द मेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ प्रोटोप्लाज्म उस टाइम पर साइंटिस्ट थे स्टेनली मिलर एंड यूरे इन्होंने एक एक्सपेरिमेंट सेट किया एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए कि लाइफ का ओरिजिन कैसे रहा होगा सो स्टेनली मिलर एंड हरलेट सी यूरे इन 1953 सेट अप एन एक्सपेरिमेंट विद एन एयर टाइट एपरेटर्स इन द नेक्स्ट पीपीटी यू कैन सी द फिगर इन विच फोर गैसेज अमोनिया मीथेन हाइड्रोजन एंड वॉटर वर इनाकुलेटेड थ्रू एन इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज फॉर वन वीक एक हफ्ते तक इन लोगों ने उसमें इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज किया ऑन एनालाइजिंग द लिक्विड दे फाउंड अ वेराइटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेस जब इन्होंने इसको एनालिसिस किया तो कुछ सब्सटेंसेस इनको देखने को मिले सच एज अमिनो एसिड्स यूरिया एसिटिक एसिड लैक्टिक एसिड एटसेट्रा सेकेंड स्टेज इसके बाद दूसरी स्टेज ये रही होगी दैट सिंपल ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म लार्ज मॉलिक्यूल विच इंक्लूड्स पेप्टाइड्स leading to the formation of proteins sugars starches and fat molecules third stage the large molecules of different kinds combined together jo bade bade molecules bane the ye bhi combined hue to form multi molecular heaps or complexes some simple fat molecules arranged themselves around this molecular complex in a sort of membrane it was observed in the laboratory experiment that when such complexes reached a certain size they separated from the surrounding solution in the form of what were termed quasarvate drops of microscopic size moving in the liquid with a definite boundary quasarvate mean heap referring to the combined together of the molecule jab molecules mil gaye to unko kuch aise cheez mili drops ke form mein jise unhone quasarvate ka naam de diya 
दिस इज द एपरेटस जो स्टेनले में ने तैयार किया था और इसी में उन्होंने इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज दिया इलेक्ट्रोड के थ्रू उसके बाद उन्होंने जो लिक्विड मीडियम था उसमें अमोनिया मीथेन वाटर हाइड्रोजन ये सारे जो सब्सटेंस हैं वो उनको देखने को मिले द एपरेटस यूज बाई स्टेनली मिलर एंड यूरे टू डिमोन्स्ट्रेट द सिंथेसिस ऑफ एमिनो एसिड अंडर कंडीशन दैट एग्जिस्टेड ऑन द प्रिमिटिव अर्थ अंदाजा लगाया जब अर्थ बनी होगी तो इस कंडीशन में अमीनो एसिड इस तरह से बने होंगे नाउ सम सोर्ट ऑफ मेटाबोलिज्म could occur within these quasar weight with synthesis of certain substances and breakdown of others the later break down reactions could provide energy some of the earliest form proteins might have acted like enzymes and would have affected the rate of reactions it is also believed that rna molecule might have shown enzymatic activity in the primordial soup of chemical compounds such molecules have been termed ribozyme next is fourth stage so some sort of nucleoproteins or nucleic acid may have evolved by random combinations which have provided two more properties to quasar weight like bodies this include chemical reactions from the nucleic acid and the capacity to reproduce through duplication of the nucleic acids the cells were produced that could be called the simplest primordial life figure depicts the probable stages of origin and evolution of living beings the primitive drop like forms of life were all heterotrophs unable to manufacture their own form own food but derived it from environment andaaza lagate hain ye sab heterotrophs rahe honge apna khana khud nahi banate the environment ke upar dependent the as one of the innumerable changes in genetic makeup of the primitive heterotrophs led to the formation of chlorophyll green coloring matter of the leaves molecules the chlorophyll bearing units of life for the first time started using the solar energy for production of food as well as for the first time started liberating free oxygen into the atmosphere in the pani mein start hui प्लांट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर जिसने ओ टू लिबरेट करना स्टार्ट किया जो एटमोस्फेयर में जाके मिक्सअप हुआ अर्ली एटमोस्फेयर ऑफ अर्थ हैड नो फ्री ऑक्सीजन द फॉर्म्स अंटिल देन कुड एट बेस्ट बी ओनली एन एरोबिक क्लोरोफिल बियनिक ऑर्गेनिज्म लेटर रिलीज फ्री ऑक्सीजन विच गेव ग्रेटर पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर लाइफ टू इवॉल्व दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन विजुअलाइज how is this possible thus the simplest form of life originate through four main stages thereafter wide variety of organisms came into existence through biological evolution ye jo char stages hain humne dekhi one by one is tarah se andaaza lagaya ki life ka origin possible hua hoga so what is evolution the formation of complex organism through change from simple ancestral type over the course of geological time simple form se complex form ka banna this is known as evolution so according to the theory of evolution the various present day organisms were not created in the same form in which they exist today kuch organisms aise hain kuch ka maximum jaise aapko is samay dikhai de rahe hain wo condition nahi thi jis us time pe unka evolution hua tha ये क्रिएट हुए थे वो धीमे धीमे सॉरी सो दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ स्लो एंड ग्रेजुअल चेंज इज कॉल्ड ऑर्गेनिक एवोल्यूशन दस द थ्योरी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एवोल्यूशन स्टेट्स दैट ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स ऑन अर्थ आर हियर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ डिसेंट विद मॉडिफिकेशन फ्रॉम अ कॉमन एंसेस्टर्स The evidences supporting organic evolution are derived from a number of field of biology. Those discussed here are morphological evidences, embryological evidences, paleontological evidences and molecular evidences one by one. Number 1 is from morphology evidence. So through organisms of different species and groups are quite different from each other. Is still they retain certain common features. 
morphological evidence for evolution are derived from homologous and analogous organs vestigial organs also and connective limbs also so the comparative study of various organs in different group of vertebrates exhibit common features this shows that they evolved from a common ancestor take for example that of the heart of the vertebrate in next figure look here pisces amphibians reptiles and mammals you can see the difference between heart of all these classes homologous organs homologous organs are the organs which are similar in structure and origin but may look very different and perform different functions jo organs structure origin mein ek jaise hain par dikhne mein bhi wo alag alag hain aur unka jo kaam hai wo bhi alag hai those are known as homologous organs so four limbs of vertebrates are a very good example of homologous organs they are built on the same fundamental plan yet they appear differently and perform different function in each case the four limb consist of humerus radius and ulna carpals metacarpals and phalanges this basic similarity in the structure of the apparently different four limbs of different kind of vertebrate is due to the fact that all these limbs have been evolved from a common type called the pentadactyle yani ki five fingered limbs the homologous organs therefore prove that there has been evolution and not creation to so, ye organs ye prove karte hain ye evolution ho raha hai creation nahi ho raha this is the structure bird whale cat horse humans on the right portion you can see humerus radio ulna carpals metacarpals phalanges analogous organs these are the structures which are functionally similar kaam inke ek jaise hain but structurally different are called analogous organs the wing of an insect and that of a bird or bat are pentadactyle are examples of analogous organ in next figure the function of the wing is the same but the insect wing has no structural resemblance with that of the vertebrates insect pentadactyle bat birds par kaam sabke ek jaise hain vestigial organs ye wo organs hain jo pehle kabhi kaam mein aate honge par ab kisi kaam mein nahi aate fir bhi body mein present hain vestigial organs is any small degenerate or imperfectly developed non functional organs or part which may have been complete and functional in some ancestors jo unke purvaj rahe honge jo ancestors honge unme wo kaam karte honge the only rational explanation for the presence of these non functional organs is that they are inherited from ancestors in which they were functional next figure shows some of the vestigial structures or vestigial organs in human body in human body sorry so these are body hairs wisdom teeth appendix tail vertebrate these are vestigial connecting links kuch aise aapko fossils record mein kuch aise organism mile jo do classes ko ya do families ko connect kar rahe hain aapas mein so the animals or plants which possess characters of two different groups of organism are known as connecting links the connecting links establish continuity in the series of organisms by proving that one group has evolved from the other a good example is that of a fossil bird archaeopteryx which was a connecting link between reptiles and birds jo in dono ke beech ki ek kadi hai jisko bolte hain connecting link This bird had a beak with teeth and a long tail with bones like the lizard. It had feathers on the wings and on the body like the birds. You can see this in next figure. This is the fossil of Archaeopteryx. 
connecting link between reptiles and birds so embryology next is is the study of development of an organism the aspects of embryology which support the doctrine of organic evolution are similar stages of early development morula stage blastula then gastula in all the animals the embryos of all vertebrates are similar in shape and structure in their early stages this resemblance is so close that it is difficult to tell them apart in next figure all the vertebrates start their life from a single cell this is known as zygote and diploid form all of them during their life history pass through two layered blastula three layered gastrula and then through fish like stage with gill slits and first stage is morula morula is a ball like structure all the different aspects of embryology strongly support the fact that the different classes of vertebrates possess a common ancestry and have differentiated from one another through the process of evolution evidence from paleontology fossils se kon kon se evidence mile paleontology is the study of fossils fossils are the remains or traces of animals and plant life of the past found embedded in rock either as petrified hard part or as mold cast or tracks the fossils of the earliest era in the zoological time tape time scale were those of bacteria then invertebrate then successively of fishes amphibians reptiles and lastly of birds and mammals and among mammals primitive fossils of humans are the most recent you can see embryo to development 1 2 3 and 4 so the fossil discovered provide the ancestral history of individual animals like horse camel etc are direct proof of organic evolution this can be very well illustrated by the past history of horse next figure the number of toes decreased for greater speed size gradually increased and teeth adapted to eat grasses horse ka jo development hai wo aapko agli figure mein agli slide mein dekhne ko milega fossil record of bone of hind legs of horses from eohippus to equus showing decrease in the number of toes you can see here starting from eohippus then mesohippus then merihippus and equus equus cabellus next is molecular evidence of evolution all organism have as cell as the basic unit of life the cell is made up of biomolecules common to all organisms ribosomes the cellular organelles are of universal occurrence in organisms dna is the hereditary material of all organisms atp is the molecule which stores and releases energy for biological processes the same around amino acids form the constituents of proteins of almost all organisms the genetic code is universal exceptions are very few the central dogma central dogma means synthesis of dna to rna and rna to proteins this is called central dogma which deals with the transfer of genetic information in cells is the same the basic steps of transcription and translation for protein synthesis are similar in all organisms the sequence of nucleotides such as that in the promoter gene tata box is common to all organisms however organisms share sharing some same chemical characteristics show closer evolutionary relationships for example human blood proteins are more similar to those of the chimpanzees among all apes or only plants and some algae have chlorophyll so they are more closely related such similarities in chemical constituents between organisms are termed molecular homology or biochemical homology and are used in recent times to establish evolutionary relationships and form the basic of systematics 
then mechanism of evolution so various various theories about the mechanism of evolution have been proposed some of them such as lamarck theory of inheritance of acquired characters and debris theory of mutation are now historical importance only pehle isko mante the lekin darwin ki theory hai jisko follow karne ke baad ye dono theories ko ab nahi mante so darwin's theory of natural selection still holds ground but was modified with progress in genetics and developed into the modern synthetic theory which is regarded as the most valid theory of evolution so darwin ki jo theory thi darwin ke bare mein sab log jante hain bahut kam age mein darwin ne ek ship tha beagle jiske upar all over ek world tour kiya tha aur world tour karne ke baad charles darwin ne theories di thi evolution ki an english scientist charles darwin explained the mechanism of evolution through his theory of natural selection he is still regarded as regarded as the father of evolution because of two very significant contributions he suggested that all kind of organisms are related through ancestry and he suggested a mechanism for evolution and named it natural selection so according to darwin organisms produce more offspring than can survive because environmental resources are limited during struggle for existence organisms with advantageous variations are protected and allowed to produce reproduce while the disadvantageous variants are eliminated eliminated, eliminated from nature sorry this is what was termed natural selection by charles darwin now creation of new species according to darwin as the environmental changes new adaptations get selected in nature and after many generations sufficient characteristics will have been changed so as to alter the species into a new one origin of species darwin talked about variation but did not know about the sources of variation wo jante the ki bahut sare differences hain bahut sare variations hain पर इसका सोर्स क्या है वेरिएशंस का वो उनको नहीं मालूम था विथ प्रोग्रेस इन जेनेटिक्स द सोर्सेज ऑफ वेरिएशंस वर डिस्कवर्ड एंड डार्विन ओरिजिनल थ्योरी ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन मॉडिफाइड जैसे जेनेटिक्स की नॉलेज बड़ी लोगों को उसके बाद धीमे धीमे जो थ्योरी है इसको चेंज किया गया सो दिस थ्योरी वॉज टर्म डेज न्यू डार्बनिज्म और दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मॉडर्न सिंथेटिक थ्योरी एकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी पॉइंट नंबर वन the unit of evolution is population which has its own gene pool gene pool kya hota hai the gene pool is the group of all different genes of a population number 2 the heritable genetic changes appearing in the individuals of a population are the basis of evolution point number 3 the heritable changes or variations occur due to small mutations in the genes or in the chromosomes and their recombinations number 4 natural selection selects the variations which help in adapting to the environment number 5 a change in the genetic constitution of a population selected by natural selection is responsible for evolution of a new species next is point number 6 more offspring with favorable genetic changes are born this is called differential reproduction reproduction reproductive isolation helps in keeping species distinct now elemental forces of organic evolution evolution is caused by action of natural selection or variation reproductive isolation also has a role to play sources for organic variation variation arises in an individual member of a population and if favorable spreads into the population through differential reproduction by the action of natural selection variations may arise by mutation genetic recombination gene flow genetic drift so number one mutation which is a sudden genetic change this is mutation mutation may be change in a single gene or affect many genes single genes means genetic mutation or point mutation also called and many genes means chromosomal mutations second is genetic recombination 
which occur in sexually reproducing organisms at every reproduction. The chromosomes and the genes of the parents mix at random during zygote formation. That is why offspring of same parents are different as they have different combinations of parental genes. Variation is also brought about when gametes are formed after meiosis. Next is gene flow. Gene flow means is when where there is chances for mixing of genes of closely related species through sexual reproduction. Next is genetic drift. Genetic drift occurs in small populations when it breaks off from a large population. Only representative genes of the large population are present which undergo change and the small population may evolve as a result. Natural selection. You have already learnt about natural selection in this lesson. It was how Darwin envisaged it. Natural selection in the modern synthetic theory is considered to be responsible for differential reproduction of genes, which means that more of favorable genes get reproduced in a population. Many examples of natural selection in actions are available now. Given below are three of such examples. Example 1 DDT resistant mosquitoes. About 50 years back, the mosquito population had been checked with the help of DDT. Thereafter, it was found that mosquito could not be killed with DDT any longer. Starting with mosquitoes, the mosquitoes were killed. The DDT was affected by mosquitoes. There appeared DDT resistant mosquitoes. What had happened? was that a gene mutation had conferred on the mosquito the ability to resist the effect of DDT while DDT killed other mosquitoes those with the gene mutation survived and slowly within a few generations replaced the DDT sensitive mosquitoes in other words the DDT resistant mosquitoes reproduced differentially by the action of natural selection example 2 Metal tolerance in grasses. Certain metal residues sometimes collect in the soil near some industries using heavy metals. Being poisonous, they kill the grasses. However, resistant grasses are found to evolve after some time through the action of variation and natural selection. From the above example, can you explain the evolution of the heavy metal tolerant grasses? Example 3 Industrial melanins. Um, a commonly quoted example of natural selection in action is that of the peppered moth, Biston betularia. The moth with its light colored wing dotted with spot, blended well with the lichens growing on the houses and trees on which it rested. Once in a while, if a mutated form of the moth, which was black in color, it was eaten up by birds as it was conspicuous because of its black wings. This was observed in the British before the industrial revolution. After the industrial revolution, the genes for black wings proved favorable on the suit covered lichens growing on the walls of houses. So natural selection acted through the agency of the birds, which now ate up the conspicuous light colored winged peppered moth which were therefore soon replaced by the black variety. You can see in the next PPT in its figure. There are several such examples in which human activities have changed the environment and natural selection has been observed to play its role. But it is an established fact now that all of the biodiversity over these millions of years have also availed through the interaction of variation and natural selection. This is a structure, wide winged and dotted winged. Role of reproductive isolation. Once new species arise from the parental species due to the effect of variation and natural selection, reproductive barriers prevent the two species from exchanging genes through reproduction. Thus, two related species cannot mate with each other and remain distinct. So isolation means separation and reproductive isolation simply means that 
the two species are prevented from successful reproduction and kept genetically distinct from each other reproductive isolation operate in the following ways number 1 ecological isolation the two species are unable to mate as they live in geographical different areas agar areas alag alag honge usme mating possible nahi hai next is seasonal isolation mating is prevented because the reproductive organs mature at different times next is ethological means behavioral isolation the songs in birds of two species or the coloration of two fishes are so different that female of one species is able to recognize the male of its own species only next is mechanical isolation the male and female organs for mating differ and prevent their union next is physiological isolation the sperms of one species are not able to survive in the female tract of another species next is zygote and development if all the above mechanism fail and the hybrid zygote hybrid means zygote from mating of two different species is formed it dies after some time if the hybrid zygote survive it dies during development then hybrid sterility mules the offspring of a female horse and male donkey is a good example it leads a normal life but is sterile and cannot reproduce then f2 breakdown in rare cases all the above mechanism fail and the hybrid offspring of parents belonging to different species is fertile it can reproduce only for one generation then speciation the evolution of no new species is termed as speciation ek nayi species ka banna this is called speciation speciation occur in the following ways and is termed accordingly iske bahut sare tarike hai speciation ke like allopatric speciation so allopatric speciation take place when a part of the population become geographically separated yani ki usme geographical isolation hua from the parental population for example a group of birds lives at the base of the mountain some members fly up and get geographical isolated kuch birds base pe reh rahe hain kuch mountains ke upar hain unke beech mein aapas mein isolation ho gaya so variation and natural selection act differently on the two because the environment in which the two lives is different gradually genetic changes render them to be reproductively isolated next is sympatric speciation sympatric means sometimes a genetic barrier or reproductive barrier prevents reproduction between a section of a population of a species with other members such a section of population usually arises in plants because of polyploidy polyploidy is a mutation in which the normal diploid number of chromosome become doubled or tripled 2n 3n 4n 5n etc in a section of the population of a species due to certain irregularities during cell division this time pe cell division ho raha hai kuch usme irregularities dekhne ko mili jiski wajah se unka ploidy level increase ho gaya so the polyploid section of the population is then unable to interbreed with the other and becomes a new species polyploidy ke baad ek new species banke taiyar ho gaye then models of speciations model there are two accepted models of speciation that have given rise to the biodiversity number 1 phyletic gradualism model phyletic means two species from common ancestor uske purvaj ek hi hain jisse do species nikli hain gradually become more and more structurally different acquiring adaptations unique to each in next figure you can see it so darwin also believed that evolution is a slow and gradual process second is punctuated equilibrium it means a new species arises through major changes in the beginning and then remain constant for a long period before changing again in a next figure you can see this this model was suggested by paleontologist everyone you know who are the paleontologist who study the fossils जो फॉसिल्स की स्टडी कर रहे हैं उन्हें हम पेलियंटोलॉजिस्ट बोलते हैं पेलियंटोलॉजिस्ट में है स्टीफन जे गोल्ड एंड नाइल्स 
Eldridge. These are very famous paleontologists. This is the structure. You can see variation. Species 1, species 2, species 3. In the next, A, B and C. So, classification means identify similarities and differences between different kinds of organisms and then placing similar organism in one group and different kinds of organism in different groups. So, taxonomy may thus be defined as the science of classification of organisms into categories, maintain certain rules. Early taxonomists classified organisms according to morphological features only. Once the concept of organic evolution was accepted, जब मान लिया गया कि हाँ भी organic evolution होता है इसमें possible है, taxonomists began to draw evolutionary relationship between different kinds of organism. तब उन्होंने देखना शुरू करा इसमें किस तरह से evolution हुआ, जिसको बाद में बोला कि phylogenetic classification. So this was term systematics. Today taxonomy and systematics are termed as synonyms since for classification. Both morphological and biochemical resemblances and even those of between molecules such as DNA and RNA are studied to establish evolutionary relationship. Second is taxonomic categories. While classifying an organism, it is assigned to categories which show its evolutionary relationship with other groups of organisms. Each label or category is termed taxon. The lowermost category is species. Other categories are arranged uh, these species so that there is a hierarchy of categories. The various taxonomic categories are like phylum, then class, class, then order, after it family, then genus, and last one is species. Scientific naming of organisms. Different plants and animals have different common names. Both are plants and animals. Hai. इनके नेम्स तो कॉमन हैं जैसे लाइक अ कैट इज कॉल्ड बिल्ली इन हिंदी बीरल इन बंगाली पुनई इन तमिल एंड मंजर इन मराठी देयर आर डिफरेंट वर्ड्स फॉर कैट इन फ्रेंच और जर्मन दीस एरोस द नीड टू गिव ऑर्गेनिज्म्स नेम व्हिच कुड बी अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड सो द साइंटिस्ट नेम वर गिवन टू ऑर्गेनिज्म साइंटिफिक नेम्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर अंडरस्टूड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड क्योंकि हर एरिया में हर प्लांट है या कोई भी एनिमल है उसका जो कॉमन नेम है वो अलग अलग होगा ताकि सब जगह इसलिए उन्होंने यूनिवर्सल कर दिया इसको साइंटिफिक नेम देके और इसको बोल दिया बायोनोमियल नॉमेनक्लेचर एवरीवन नो अबाउट इट दैट कैरोलस लीनियस गिवन दिस टर्म सो एंड ही इज आल्सो नोन एज द फादर ऑफ टेक्सोनोमी सो अ सिंपलीफाइड सिस्टम ऑफ नेम ऑर्गेनिजम्स कॉल्ड बायोनोमियल नॉमेनक्लेचर हैज बीन द स्टैंडर्ड for more than two centuries now, it was proposed by the Swedish biologist Carolus Linnaeus in 1707 to 1778. Binomial nomenclature simply means two name system of naming. The name of every kind of organism has two parts, that of the genus followed by the species. The generic name is written with a capital letter and the specific name with a small letter. Like Homo sapiens, in Homo sapiens you can see H is capital and other letters are small, is the scientific name of modern man, Homo sapiens. Next is Mangifera indica, is the biological name or scientific name of mango. So, three main features of biological naming are as follows. So, these are by convention is printed in italic or underlined when handwritten. When you write it in your hand, you write it in italic. दोनों को अलग अलग करके उसको अंडरलाइन करते हैं देन साइंटिफिक नेमिंग इज अकॉर्डिंग टू अ सेट ऑफ साइंटिफिक रूल्स ऑफ नॉमेनक्लेचर थर्ड वन इज साइंटिफिक नेम आर मोस्टली इन ग्रीक एंड लैटिन इन दोनों लैंग्वेजेस में होते हैं दे आर अंडरस्टूड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड हैव मेड कम्युनिकेशन अबाउट ऑर्गेनिज्म इजीयर प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोट्स नेक्स्ट इज सो प्रो मींस प्रिमिटिव एंड कैरियो मींस न्यूक्लियस अगर प्रिमिटिव टाइप का न्यूक्लियस है उसे बोलेंगे प्रोकोरियोट्स एंड यू कैरियो ई यू यू मीन्स ट्रू एंड कैरियोट्स मीन्स अगेन न्यूक्लियस अगर ट्रू न्यूक्लियस प्रेजेंट है दोज आर नोन एज यू कैरियोट्स सो द ऑर्गेनिजम दैट आर मोस्ट प्रिमिटिव और द फर्स्ट टू इवॉल्व ऑन अर्थ आर द बैक्टीरिया दे डू नॉट परवेज अ न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन अराउंड देयर सिंगल क्रोमोजोम सो एबसेंस ऑफ अ वेल डिवाइन न्यूक्लियस और इन अदर वर्ल्ड 
a primitive nucleus term than prokaryotes. Pro means primitive and karyon means nucleus. All bacteria are prokaryotes. As a con contrast, organisms other than bacteria possessing a well-defined nucleus. These are called eukaryotes. Again, eu means true and karyon means nucleus. There are other differences between them are given the next table. Difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. You can see here. So here you can see the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. First one is of size 0.1 to 10 of prokaryotes. Genetic material in prokaryotes circular DNA, no linear DNA, histone associated with DNA, nucleoid form, no nuclear membrane. Third is site of nuclear material, DNA in cytoplasm. And fourth is organelles. So no membrane bound organelles are found in prokaryotes. Next is cell wall, always present and contains peptidoglycan. Uh, next is respiration. In prokaryotes, resp respiration done by mesosomes because mitochondria are absent in prokaryotes. Last is reproduction. In prokaryotes, reproduction takes place by asexual. Uh, examples are bacteria, cyanobacteria and BGA, blue-green algae. Eukaryotes, uh, size is 10 to 100. Well, greater volume then histone present on which DNA molecules wrapped well defined chromosome and nuclear membrane present site of nuclear material third one is DNA inside distinct nucleus DNA is found and organelles in mitochondria Golgi bodies lysosomes present in the cell cell wall Animals में तो नहीं होती, आप लोग जानते हो, but in plants it is made up of cellulose और in fungi it is made up of chitin. And respiration, it takes place by mitochondria. Reproduction, asexual and sexual. Example, like protista, fungi, plants, animals, etc. The five kingdom of organisms. Till recently there were only two kingdoms for classification, plantae and animalia. Such a two kingdom classification had several drawbacks. Example, bacteria and fungi were kept along with plants, although they are very different. But R.H. Whitaker in 1969 suggested the five kingdom classification, which is based on three criteria. Number one, the presence or absence of a well defined nucleus. Number two, unicellular or multicellular. And number three is mode of nutrition. So the five kingdoms are Monera. Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia and based on the three criteria mentioned above plants and animalia in next figure you can see the five kingdom classification is explained as under next table is of the five kingdom classification of organisms. This table is very important to remember this table. Many questions are coming from the NEET exam, CSI or UGC NET. Ka. So number one is Monara. In Monera, blue green algae in bacteria, this Nucleus, jo hoga, this is prokaryotic, unicellular, and diverse type of nutrition. But this is the table. 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 So, let's do this a little bit. Correction. And nature of nucleus, some of the eukaryotes. Protista is unicellular. The rest of the three, fungi, plantae and animalia, is multicellular. But in fungi, there will be an exception to yeast. Ka. Yeast is unicellular. So, kind of nutrition. Some of the diverse kind of nutrition. Hai. Fungi is saprophytic. It is feed on dead or decaying matter. Plantae is autotrophic. It is made of its own food through photosynthesis and animalia mein heterotrophic and it depend on others for food. So heard about so, so many diseases like influenza, polio, mumps, rabies, smallpox, AIDS and dengue. These are all caused by viruses. They are viruses are non-living and made up of DNA surrounded by protein coat. They can replicate but they cannot reproduce on their own. They reproduce when inside a living cell. If it is living cell, it is active. If it is in a living cell, it is inactive. Therefore, viruses pose a special classification problem. 
so logically therefore they cannot be placed in any of the five kingdom because they are non living and not organisms na to unko living keh sakte hain na non living kyunki agar cell ke andar hai to activate ho gaye cell ke bahar hai to non living condition mein and discovery of viruses in 1892 russian botanist ivanovsky prepared an extract from tobacco plant suffering from tobacco mosaic disease the extract was filtered to keep the bacteria in the residue the filtrate was still infectious so dutchman bagering gave the term virus in 1898 virus means poison in latin language to these infectious particles so viruses are extremely small and can be seen only under electron microscope they are smaller than the smallest bacteria they can pass through filters which retain bacteria their size is indicated in nanometer their size ranges from 10 nanometer to 300 nm in diameter nm means it is a unit of microscopic measurement equal to 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter it was formal decoded millimicron this is the structure of virus you can see here upper most layer is of capsid beech mein aap center mein dekh rahe honge neck एंड लो नेक के बिल्कुल नीचे की तरफ एक बेस प्लेट है जहां से के टेल्स निकल रहे हैं दीज आर टेल फाइबर्स सो दीज आर रेप्रोड्यूस ओनली वेन इन साइड लिविंग सेल्स अ वायरस कैन नॉट रिप्रोड्यूस बाई इट सेल्फ फॉर इट्स रेप्रोडक्शन इट नीड्स टू एंटर द सेल ऑफ सम ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रॉम द होस्ट सेल इट यूज द रॉ मेटीरियल एंड एंजाइम्स एंड एनर्जी जनरेटिंग मशीनरी ऑफ द होस्ट सेल to produce its own dna a number of viral particles are thus formed inside the host cell the host cell bursts to release the new virus particles jaise host cell burst hui to ye sare ke sare particles bahar nikal aayenge virus living or non living do viruses possess nucleic acid a genetic material like the living organisms iska matlab hua living hue but they cannot make copies of dna for the production on their own अपने आप इनमें रेप्लीकेशन पॉसिबल नहीं है डीएनए का सो दे कैन मेक कॉपीज ऑफ देम सेल्फ टू रेप्रोड्यूस ओनली इन साइड लिविंग सेल अगर सेल के अंदर है तभी रेप्रोडक्शन पॉसिबल है वायरसेस में देयर फोर वायरसेस आर रिगार्डेड एज नॉन लिविंग फर्दर दे आर कंसिडर्ड नॉन लिविंग बिकॉज दे आर नॉन सेलुलर एंड दे कैन बी क्रिस्टलाइज इन्फेक्टिव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वायरसेस वायरसेज आर नोन टू अटैक बैक्टीरिया plants or animals viruses which invade bacteria these are called bacteriophages jo virus bacteria ke upar attack kar raha hai is tarah ke jo viruses hain inhe hum bolte hain bacteriophages so viruses are highly specific in their relationship with the host and tissue for example polio virus attacks particular nerves mumps virus attack the particular pair of salivary glands like parotid glands of humans and viruses keep on mutating so mutation means change in genetic material for example flu virus mutates and so every year flu is caused by a different virus and scientists find it difficult to find a cure for influenza or flu next table indicates the name of certain viruses their host disease and models of their transmission so certain cancers are also known to be caused by viruses these viruses do, uh, which has rna as genetic material and are called retroviruses certain viruses their host disease caused by them and mode of transmission virus host disease and mode of transmission you have to go through this complete table plants first portion is of plant and second of human in plant virus name पोटेटो रोल वायरस टोमेटो स्टेंट वायरस टी एम वी टोबेक वायरस जिसका होस्ट क्या है उसके आगे सबके आगे लिखा हुआ है लाइक प्लांट रोल मीन्स पोटेटो टोमेटो है टोमेटो टोबेको है आगे टोबेको लिखा हुआ है डिजीज कौन कौन सी डिजीज के नाम है आगे और मोड ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन कि किसके थ्रू ये वायरस फैल रहा है ये सब इसके आगे पूरे पूरे चार्ट में लिखे हुए हैं तो एक बार यहाँ पे स्टॉप करके ये सारे के सारे ह्यूमन के वायरस और प्लांट के वायरस के नाम एक बार अपने पास नोट डाउन कर लीजिए so what you have learnt this is the important slide ab tak humne jo bhi kuch padha 
किससे क्या सीखा एक तरह की समरी है ये द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड थ्योरी अबाउट ओरिजिन ऑफ लाइफ इज द कीमोसिंथेटिक थ्योरी ये जो स्लाइड्स हैं इसको बीच बीच में रिवाइज करते जाइएगा ये अपने पास नोट्स बना लीजिए ये पूरे के पूरे पीपीटी का एक तरह की समरी है जो आपने अब तक सीखी है लेवल टू में और ये लेवल टू का पहला चैप्टर है अगर आप लोगों को पसंद आता है तो और को भी ये जो लेवल टू है इसके जो चैप्टर्स हैं सर्कुलेट करें और जो चैनल है यूट्यूब चैनल उसको सब्सक्राइब कर लें ताकि हो सकता है ग्रुप में से जो स्लाइड है कुछ लोग क्या करते हैं बेटा ग्रुप में इसको ओपन कर लेते हैं उसको जो है डिसअपियरिंग बोर्ड तो जितने भी मैसेज में ग्रुप में डाल रही वो सब गायब हो जाते हैं कभी चौबीस घंटे में कोई वन वीक का डाल देता है कभी कभी तो दो घंटे बाद ही मैसेज गायब हो जाते हैं तो आप लोगों से रिक्वेस्ट है अगर आप लोगों को सही लग रहा है समझ में आ रहा है पसंद आ रहा है तो सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए तो ये सारी पीपीटी आपको यूट्यूब चैनल पे अवेलेबल रहेंगी नेक्स्ट इज अर्थ अर्ली एनवायरमेंट वाज फेवरेबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम सिंपल इनऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल फिर हमने देखा क्वेसरवेट्स क्वेसरवेट्स क्या है आर बिलीव टू हैव बीन मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड मॉलिकुलर एग्रीगेट Capable of growth and budding. Next, it is believed that life originated some 3.5 billion years ago on this earth. Next is the environment and the form of life of the past were quite different from those of today. Evolution, evolution is the gradual unfolding of living forms from the earlier simple forms into the complex ones. It was in operation in the past. It is operating at present. and will continue do so in the future chief evidences in favor of organic evolution come from comparative anatomy embryology paleontology and molecular biology next is darwin's theory of origin of species by natural selection explain the process of evolution through useful variation and natural selection next new darwinism is the modern interpretation of darwinism based on natural selection mutation and reproductive isolation this is also also called as the modern synthetic theory isko yaad rakhiyega ye question last year hi aaya tha net wale exam mein ki what is the modern synthetic theory uh, sources of variation are mutation recombination gene flow and genetic drift then natural selection acts upon variation through differential reproduction which means greater reproduction of favorable genes then these help in formation of new species and also in keeping species distinct the reproductive isolating mechanism or ecological isolation seasonal ethological mechanical and physiological isolation zygote inviability hybrid sterility and f2 breakdown then evolution of new species is termed speciation ye bhi humne sikha स्पेशन किस तरह से हुआ या तो जोग्राफिकल आइसोलेशन या फिर पॉलिप्लॉयडी के थ्रू देन ग्रेजुअलिज्म एंड पंक्चुएटेड इक्विलिब्रियम आर सजेस्टेड मोड्स ऑफ स्पेसिएशन ये भी तरीके थे इसके फिर देखा हमने क्लासिफिकेशन इज एसेंशियल फॉर स्टडिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड कम्युनिकेटिंग एब दम क्लासिफिकेशन मीन्स ग्रुपिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सिमिलरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेज देयर आर हायर केयर टेक्सोनॉमिक कैटेगरीज which reveal evolutionary relationship of an organism the scientific naming of organisms is according to the linear system of binomial nomenclature the five kingdom system which was given by r h whitaker monera protista fungi plantae and animalia then viruses are nucleoprotein particles have dna or rna molecules present as core particles surrounded by a protein coat Viruses were discovered by Wolowski and named by Bejerin. Viruses are very small and can be observed only through electron microscope. Viruses cannot reproduce except when inside living cell. Viruses share properties of living and non-living. Viruses infect bacteria, plants and animals. And viruses attacking bacteria are called bacteriophages. virus causes several diseases like herpes smallpox aids dengue etc and coronavirus is very important sab log jante hain these are the practice question ye sab questions aapko apne aap solve karne hain jab ye pura ppt complete ho jaye ye sare questions one by one solve kijiye aur sab log solve kar lenge isko par dhyan se ppt ek din mein khatam nahi hoga har baar ye jo level 2 hai iska ek ppt teen din ke baad dala jayega विद इन थ्री डेज आपको एक पीपीटी कंप्लीट करना है
वन बाई वन एक एक करके सो दीज ऑल द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू सॉल्व एंड कोशिश कीजिए एक नोटबुक बनाए ताकि प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन के लिए आप नोटबुक में इन सबके आंसर लिख सकें एक एक करके ज्यादा नहीं है बस थोड़े से क्वेश्चन हैं आराम से सॉल्व हो जाएंगे तो हम लोग मिलेंगे अब नेक्स्ट चैप्टर में आफ्टर थ्री डेज तो थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल एंड प्लीज सॉल्व द ऑल क्वेश्चन and this one is the last slide remaining so this is my humble request to all please solve all these questions par ha itna hai ki isko padhne se pehle jo already ppt group par dali gayi hain ek bar wo sub read kar lijiye